Boeing factory workers right across the United States West Coast are on strike and have been for just over three hours now. The first strike at the company in 16 years. The largest union at Boeing voted almost unanimously in favor of a strike. The members rejected a proposed contract for better pay and conditions. This is about addressing the past and this is about fighting for our future. Our members rejected the contract by 94.6 percent. The walk-off is expected to have a serious impact on manufacturing at the commercial jet hub for the company. That's in Seattle and Washington State. No idea how long this will last. Both parties have said they want to get back to the bargaining table. But let's check out this labor dispute, the latest details, the breaking details on all of this. Scott, for a truly beleaguered company, another blow. Uh, it, it sure is, and uh, as if Boeing cannot catch a break. This is, as you mentioned, the largest union that Boeing has, 33,000 positions in there, and this will affect everyone from parts suppliers feeding uh, parts into Boeing and the airlines waiting for the delivery of the popular 7 Series mm -hmm. jets. And here's some of the details as far as what is going on between Boeing and its largest union. Boeing's already offered a 25% increase to wages over the next four and a half years but that was rejected as we heard in that clip and 96 percent of the workers voted to go ahead and go on strike now according to the union the pay has been stagnant since 2008 and seattle area costs in the pacific northwest has been rising the last contract was in fact uh, in 2008 and a 57 day strike back then cost the airline about a hundred million dollars per day and this affects the seven series those are the best sellers the 737 the 777 and the 767 and this comes at a time when Boeing is bleeding cash piling up debt and after January the company's been in turmoil after that Air Alaska 737 Max door blew off in midair and it's been a vibrant year as well for unions to mention that side both sides of the border this side you were just talking with Linda Benner Canada we've seen the rail strike WestJet and needless to say uh, Boeing's stock down 4% this morning and the stock has been really beaten up this year and this company's trying to turn itself around there's been a management change there but yet more trouble for Boeing this morning with that big strike. Okay, we'll watch that just underway. Thank you very much, Scott Peterson.